Welcome. You are about to experience eight minutes under the moon, a preview of our Patreon exclusive, raw, unfiltered, not safe for work podcast. If you'd like to experience the full episode in all of its glory and splendor, make sure to visit us at www.patreon.com forward slash Tarodcast and join us at either the Stay Certain tier or the Forever Certain tier. This episode, as well as many other perks, exclusives, and behind-the-scenes benefits are waiting just for you. I hope you're ready as we now present to you Eight Minutes Under the Moon. Um, but I didn't have like my actual like first orgasm with a person until I was 26. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, when I got with my ex who I was with for three years, mm -hmm. he turned me out. Oh. Yeah. And oh. after him, it was game over. <laughs> yeah. She said game over. Somebody called Lil Flip game over. <laughs> wow. I mean, but, yeah. I mean, I, wow. <laughs> Man, you said 26? Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is, wow. Yeah. But at the same time, I am I am very glad that that was something that you were able to experience. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I know that there are a lot of women who don't necessarily get to achieve that, you know, outside of self-pleasure. Right. You know, and so you know, I'm glad that you did have the ability to, you know, experience that with another person because, mm -hmm. like, it's like, yeah, it can be done. Yeah. You know, and I mean, and, and it's it's just the, the the beauty of it. Like one of the, you know, actually, I'm not gonna get into that because I'll talk about that. <laughs> well, yeah. I I will say this. Like, he definitely was the first one to that I did have an orgasm with. You know, like while we were having sex. Mm -hmm. Um, he was also the first person that I squirted with. Mm, um, okay. But it it required a lot of effort. Mm -hmm. I will say that. Okay. Um, and then, like I said, when I say that he turned me out, I mean like he kind of taught me how to how how for me to just kind of maneuver myself mm -hmm. to get what it is that I need. Yes. Um, you know, and it wasn't necessarily because he was lacking in that. Mm -hmm. It was just a matter of like he was very vocal about wanting me mm -hmm. to do it. Mm -hmm with him using him yes. as a tool mm -hmm. to to achieve what it yeah, is yeah like go ahead and get yours right right yeah. and and i took that after i you know was no, was no longer dating him i took that and i applied it to the other experiences that i had you mm -hmm. know and and then i just kind of got to the point to where it just kind of happens mm -hmm. sometimes i don't even i don't have to put any effort into it it just kind of happens like, that's good uh, cool. like with this guy that that i that i had talked about um i remember i it was me. It was like a few months ago, and um, we had had we had like a double date mm -hmm. with his friend and one of my friends. We went to their house and we had like this little date night or whatever. Um, and I just remember like I had a lot of fun and I was like a little tipsy and mm -hmm. everything was just like great. Yes. And uh, we had sex and I squirted for the first time with no effort. Really? Like no effort on my part. Congratulations. Okay. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I was kind of blown because it hadn't happened without me like exerting some type of like mm. physical effort onto yeah. myself. And it just kind of happened like naturally and I was like, oh my God, I love you. I bet that was magic. It really was. <laughs> and I remember he was, he like didn't even care that it was all over his sheets. He was just like. Most of us won't. Yeah, he was just like, hey. and I was like, oh my God. Yeah, it's just like, it's just like, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. But it definitely, um, like I said, my ex definitely did kind of get me into like just me knowing what it is that I like mm -hmm. or what it is that I need to achieve. Mm -hmm what I'm trying to achieve. See, and that's, but that's also really good because one of the things that a lot of men sometimes won't do is encourage a woman mm -hmm. to go back within their own body, like even do like those little micro movements, you know, those little things that position you mm -hmm. in a way to where if, if, if a spot is being hit, it's like you know how to get there, mm -hmm. you know, because a lot of men, like, you know, a lot of men, they just, they just think that they can just do it by themselves. So I'm just like, no, you're not, you're not playing with a pocket pussy. Right. You know, you're not, you're not fucking with a fleshlight. You know, this is a whole human. And it's just like, you know, think about the fact that 
if they like, if they lift their leg like a centimeter this way and all of a sudden you start hearing don't stop right there mm-hmm. like motherfucker you better stay in that spot <laughs> you better stay in that spot because yeah. I'm just like like those little things those little things yeah. are what what matter and it's just like you know a lot of people think that you you have to you know be doing a certain thing like you know I'm not saying that you like picking somebody up spinning them around <laughs> and shit like that is bad right. but oftentimes it may not require that if it gets you to a certain level or a certain spot or whatever then okay if that's what y'all want to do then y'all can do it yeah. but oftentimes it's it's it doesn't even take much right. it's just knowing your body you know Definitely. and knowing what you require and now not every woman also needs the same thing. Mm-hmm. You know, I feel like there's probably some men who just kind of universally do the same thing with everyone. Right. And then there's those elite men who mm-hmm. have realized that not every woman needs the same thing, mm-hmm. you know. And, you know, it's just a matter of you getting to know what this person likes. Mm-hmm. Um, and not just that, but also being able to let her have control every once in a while. Yes. Um, for her to be able to right right and not even like oh I need to be in control to have an orgasm because that's not what it is right it's just a matter of like just sit back and relax don't don't worry about it I'm gonna get you know we're gonna get to where we gotta go exactly enjoy the ride we're gonna take a little detour (laughs) you know we're we're gonna get there eventually (laughs) (laughs) we're gonna both get there don't worry (laughs) and it's and I love it when a man is just like okay Mm -hmm. just do what you gotta do you know, and then in the same turn, and be like, okay, now it's my turn. Exactly. And it's like, you know what? Do your thing. Yeah. Your thing. I'm right. I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> Pretty much, <yeah. laughs> All right. So, 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 you know, um, I, I wanted, I wanted to also talk about because I, I, I briefly started talking about this uh, mm-hmm. regarding positions. <laughs> and so, like, you know, what are those positions for you that that you have learned that hit those certain spots? Um, definitely, well, there's two of them. Um, doggy, for sure. Um, but it also depends on, like, the size of the person. Um, because I've had instances where I'm in, I'm doing doggy with someone and they're just too big and it, it hurts. And a lot of it, you know, again, it's not necessarily even the size because I've had people who might have been bigger who who hit spots that the person who was smaller than them didn't, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. And then, no two dicks are the same. Right, right, right. And that kind of goes back to, like, you kind of finding out what it is that the person that you're dealing with likes. Mm-hmm. Um, but for sure, Doggy is one of my favorite. Um, and it's a good, I know it's a good beat back there. So. <laughs> <laughs> she over here tooting her own horn, beep, beep. I'm not and bad. So I already know, like, that's kind of, like, my go-to, especially if, if, um, if I'm basically just trying to like not speed it up, mm-hmm. but if it's you know if I'm sore, I'm mm-hmm. getting there. Like I'm, I'm I've came a lot of times. Yeah, yeah. you know, and I'm just kind of like, right. Yeah, let's yeah. Let, let's count it out. Let's well, finish this. Yeah, that's usually my go-to. Okay. Um, my other favorite is um, me on top, but like reverse cowgirl. Okay. Um, again. So they can get that view. Yeah, that, the, the view is nice. Um, it's nice. And also because I hate, I hate like my sex face, so I always feel really weird when I'm like on top of someone and they're just watching me. And a lot of the times they're like intensely watching me, mm-hmm. and because I know that they're trying to to figure out how I'm liking it, and mm-hmm. I'm always liking it very well. So and my face shows it. Mm-hmm. Always very ugly, but <laughs> but that but that's the beautiful part of it because it's just like even though the I, I love that you call the sex face.